at this time, we have come, we had well, the appetizer. <laughs> now it's time for the main course. <laughs> we'll have our speaker for the morning in the person of Deacon Eric Brown. We're gonna ask everyone to please stand. Let's worship the Lord. Let's honor him this morning. Let's give him praise and glory in the house of the Lord. For he is good and his mercy is endured forever. Praise his holy name. You may be, you may be seated. It's wonderful to be in the house of the Lord. Uh, it would be at no other place. And no matter how cold it, it is than to be in the house of the Lord. For the, the house of the Lord is a, is a good place, a place where we, where we feel refreshed and revived and energized to, to carry on. Hallelujah to God. As you have heard Sister Carl read from the scripture, Ephesians chapter 2, um, we know that we were strangers, aliens from the Commonwealth of Israel, and we have no hope at all in this world. We were the uncircumcised. We were ostracized. We weren't part of the covenant at all. Uh, and then something happened. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And here we are, uh, standing in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Having hope. And we are cared for in this world. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. God is more than we can wrapped our minds around. It is more than we can ever know. What we, we know is what he allows us to know. The Bible said he is uh, omniscient. He knows uh, everything. Nothing uh, is hidden from him. He is uh, omnipresent. He is everywhere. One writer said, where can I hide out of his presence? If I take the wings of the morning and fly to the utmost part of the sea, behold, he is there. He is immutable. He never changes. Hallelujah to God. There is no shadow of turning with him. Uh, we, we change sometimes uh, and, and, and surprise uh, um, our family members of how much our personality just switched sometimes. But God remained the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hallelujah to God. He is uh, immutable. He's infinite. Hallelujah. He has no limit. The heaven cannot contain him. Hallelujah to God. He is bigger than this world. The world that he created cannot contain him. Hallelujah. I can't wrap my mind around that. Hallelujah. But that tells me how God is. Hallelujah. He is more than we can express. He is transcendent. He exists totally apart from us. Amen. He does not depend on us, hallelujah, for him to, to remain God. 
Nothing that we do, hallelujah, can, 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 can make him better than who he is. Nothing that we do can make him less than who he is. Hallelujah to God. He is God all by himself. Hallelujah to God. If we love him, he is God. And if we don't like, love him, he is still God. He is the same yesterday and forever. Hallelujah to God. He is omnipotent. Hallelujah. He is all powerful. Hallelujah to God. No armies of this world combined have the power that our God has. No, no nuclear weapon. Hallelujah to God. No atomic bombs. Hallelujah to God. Is as powerful as God. Because when he speaks, hallelujah, the earth quakes. The mountain shakes. Hallelujah to God. Lightning flashes. Hallelujah. He can change the light to darkness. And darkness to light. He is all powerful. Hallelujah to God. That's the God that we serve. He is incomprehensible. Beyond our understanding. And some people think they understand God. And they know how we think. Hallelujah. Without even reading the scripture. Hallelujah to God. But God is incomprehensible. We don't know him as much as we think we do. Hallelujah. But we will know him as we travel along with him better and better every day. And when we see him, hallelujah, what a day that will be. Hallelujah to God. Mm. He is righteous. Hallelujah to God. Perfect in all his ways. We are so imperfect. Today we, we feel good and tomorrow we, we make all kind of mistakes. Hallelujah to God. But the Lord is perfect in all his ways. Hallelujah to God. He stands alone in that category. Hallelujah to God. Because he makes no mistake. Hallelujah to God. It's just it's fair to all men. Yeah. Hallelujah. You might not understand mm, his, the way he operates, but he is fair. Oh, glory to God. He's wise. Oh, glory to God. He does not make mistake. He is merciful. He is compassionate slow to hunger, and plenteous in mercy. I thank God for, for who he is. Amen. I thank him for his compassion. Amen. Hallelujah to God. And I re re recognize that if he wasn't such a compassionate God, maybe I would be standing here today. Hallelujah. Maybe some of us wouldn't be standing here today. But because of his compassion, we are here basking in the God of our salvation. He's merciful. Hallelujah to God. Very merciful. Every morning, new mercies we see. Hallelujah to God. He's not just merciful, but he is jealous. Hallelujah to God. Jealous, unwilling to share what is rightfully his. Hallelujah to God. We are his people, the sheep of his pastor. He shares us with no one else. Those that are called by his name, we are his. Hallelujah to God. And he's jealous. Hallelujah. We worship no other God beside him. Hallelujah. He craved, he needs, he, well, he, he wants our worship. He delights in the praises of, of his people. Hallelujah. He's sovereign. He is in total control. 
no matter what is happening in the world, hallelujah to God, he is in absolute control. Hallelujah. He does what pleases him. Mm. Sovereign, hallelujah to God. Eternal has no beginning and no ending. Every one of us starts somewhere. From the dust of the earth we were created. We were, we were a little baby until we became adult. And we still have more transition in our lives. We get older. But the Lord is, does not start. You cannot say, that this is where God started. He has no beginning and no ending. Hallelujah. He is God all by himself. Hallelujah to God. No man has these qualities. No one on the face of the earth no matter how educated, no matter how powerful, no matter how famous, no matter how rich, no man on earth has this quality. He is God all by himself. Mm. And as I state these attributes of God, it's just a small fraction of who he is. We cannot exhaust, exhaust the, the, the attributes of God. Hallelujah to God. Mm. And so, one of, and there is one more attribute that I want to highlight today, and that is his is graciousness. His graciousness. His grace is mm. sufficient. Hallelujah. We thank God for his grace. Hallelujah to God. Grace, his grace is a heart of, of kindness. Hallelujah to God. While we were yet sinners, Christ died. What a grace that is. Hallelujah to God. He gives us a, a second chance in life. Hallelujah. Alien from the commonwealth of Israel. Stranger from the covenant of promise. Having no hope but grace. Hallelujah. Grace abound in God. Hallelujah to God. And he extended it unto us. We did not earn it and we did not deserve it. But he gave it to us anyway. Such grace I can't understand. Hallelujah to God. Oh, glory to God. We were destined for hell. Hallelujah to God. But he grant us a reprieved. Hallelujah to God. Because of grace. Hallelujah to God. We were granted a reprieve. Hallelujah to the God. Mercies express. Favor were granted. Hallelujah to God. Because of his grace. Oh, grace is a wonderful thing. You know. It's only by his grace we are here today. Hallelujah. Without his grace, we would be like a sheep gone astray. We would be tossed and, and, and turned by every wind of doctrine. But because of grace, brethren, we are here. We are, we are stabilized. We are focused. That God is God and there is no shadow of turning with him. Thank God for grace. Thank God for grace. Mercy! There was grace and grace was free. Pardon! There was multiplied to me. There my burning soul found liberty at Calvary, it's all because of his grace. The adequate grace of the almighty God. Oh, his favor, his kindness. Mm. 
when we show someone kindness, they experienced grace. Amen. And I remember reading the story of David uh, and Mish, Bibosheth. Oh, glory to God. He did not deserve it. He did not earn it. But David brought him into his palace and seated him at the table and said, You shall eat bread all the days of your life. Hallelujah. That is grace. Hallelujah to God. Grace. Wonderful grace. Mm. Expensive grace. Mm. Grace that cost Jesus everything. Hallelujah. To set you and I free. Oh, glory to God. This grace is not uh, a social skill. Mm. That you look at the young lady or the woman walking down and you say, Oh, she walks gracefully. That's not the grace that I'm talking about. Mm. This grace is not when you see a guy and, and you say, well, he handled himself gracefully. No, the grace of God uh, is, is when Jesus came from heaven out of the love of God and shed his blood on Calvary's cross for us and died and rose again and seated at his father's right hand and plead on behalf of us and someday we shall see him face to face that's the grace we are talking about today mm. people suffer all kind of trouble around the world mm. But the grace of God are here. Hey, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Paul said, but for the grace of God, I am what I am today. When I looked at Paul, Paul, the prosecutor of God's people, hallelujah to God. God is so powerful that he could just stop him from prosecuting the church. He could just wipe him off the map. Oh, glory to God. But God, in his infinite mercy and grace, looked at Paul and said, I have use for him. Hallelujah to God. And Paul and God, uh, you know, turned him around and said, I have work for you to do. You shall bring in Hallelujah. The Gentiles into my kingdom. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to God. Your grace and mercy brought us through. We are living this moment because of that grace. Hallelujah to God. Grace is Jesus Christ, oh glory to God, descending from heaven and coming down to earth. Hallelujah to God. That's grace. That's grace. Grace is a part of the manifold love of God. The part of the manifold love Grace wrapped up in God's love. Amen. Who shall go? Oh, glory to God. Who shall go? Oh, glory to God. And grace in Jesus Christ rose up. Amen. Hallelujah to God. And here we are today, a recipient of such grace. Oh, glory to God. It makes me want to shout. It makes me want to clap my hand. Hallelujah. It makes me want to thank the Lord. Oh, for his manifold grace. Mm. By the grace of God, we are saved. Oh, glory to God. Christ came with grace. 
The scripture said, Yet the Lord long to be gracious to you. He rise to show compassion. The Lord long to be gracious. That's who he is, a gracious God. He rises to show us compassion. We could not save ourselves. Christian must be filled with humility. Amen. 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 Christian must be filled with humility. Yes. Because when we think of the grace of God, yes. that we could not earn it nor deserve it, but he gave it to us anyway. How shall we respond to such a grace? Jesus humbled himself and died on the cross because of us. Therefore, we must humble ourselves and walk with God. Hallelujah to God. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and not of yourself, it is the gift of God. Not of works, least any man should boast. Sometimes I watch or listen to some of our fellow men on television sometimes or just, just out there and and, and their attitude, oh, oh glory to God. It, it, it's, it's not something to speak of. Uh, but, and they say they represent uh, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to God. If, you, if we represent, if we are representative of Jesus Christ, we must clothe ourselves with grace. We must be gracious and kind because he's slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. Hallelujah to God. Without humility, oh, we cannot be gracious. Hallelujah. Uh, scripture describes us as all dead people without Christ. That's how the scripture describes us. Without Christ, you are dead. Mm -hmm. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And then we become children of wrath. Mm. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men. Who suppress the truth in unrighteousness. So if we are if we are sinners, hallelujah, the wrath of God, just like the spirit hovers over the water, so the wrath of God hovers over ones that are not saved. If you are listening this morning and you do not accept God as your personal savior, the wrath of God hovers over you. He wants you to, to come to him and escape the wrath of God. Oh, glory to God. Because his grace is readily available and so there is a choice. Choose the wrath of God or choose grace. Hallelujah to God. And hereby we are saying, choose grace and avoid the wrath of God. Amen. Hallelujah to God. Because the sinners are subject to death. Death without God and his son. Oh, glory to God. But grace, grace is available. Oh, glory to God. So he's encouraged us. Encouraging us to choose grace. So glory to God. The gift of salvation is right there in front of us. Oh, the love that drew salvation plan. Oh, the grace 
that brought it down to man. Oh, the mighty gulf that God dispanned on Calvary. Mercy there was great and grace was free. Pardon there was multiplied to me. There my burdened soul found liberty at Calvary. It's all because of his grace. Hallelujah to God. It's all because of his grace. We have not arrived. We are sinners saved by grace. Still on our way to Calvary, to glory. Hallelujah to God. We have to look at the cross every now and again and be reminded of what Jesus Christ, what the grace of God has done for us. And keep traveling on. Hallelujah to God. Mm. And so we, as Christians, we walk not according to the course of this world, but we are, we are renewed in our minds by the word of God. Hallelujah to God. So we conduct ourselves differently. Hallelujah. We walk now by faith and not by sight. Um, the wrath of God does not over, over us anymore because we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Once we were candidate for destruction, but now we can say we are free. We are free in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to God. Praise God. Praise God. Mm. Because when we were candidate for destruction, you know, when the wrath of God was upon us, you know, we could not do anything about it, you know. We could not do anything about it. But grace did it for us. Hallelujah to God. For God commended his love towards us in, what, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. So in our sin, we could not do anything about it. But if we call on him, oh, glory to God. He offers his grace. Oh, I love to speak of his grace. Hallelujah. Mm. His grace uh, abound for you and I. His grace sustains us. His grace is, is enough for us. It is, it is adequate. It is in abundance. Hallelujah to God. If we just uh, 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 live in the grace of God, it, we, we, it, we will prove to ourselves that it is enough. Oh, glory to God. Uh, Paul at one point was struggling. Oh, glory to God. And, and, and when he prayed to God over and go over to take away this situation and bridging many, we, have, we all have situations. We prayed for some of them and God just hear our prayer instantly. And another time, God seems like he does not have an ear. Yeah. Hallelujah. He's not listening. He's gone for a walk. He's wandered out of his heaven somewhere. It's like he, he, he's not paying attention. Hallelujah. But then if we continue praying, you will hear a sound from heaven that said, my grace is adequate. My grace is enough. My grace is sufficient. Oh, glory to God. Because I went to the cross. Oh, I shed my blood. Hallelujah to God. For you and I. Oh, glory to God. So my grace is enough. Oh, glory to God. Mm. Oh, glory to God. He died for us. We were, we were without God. Mm, without God. Walking according to the course of this world. Desiring whatever our flesh, you know, desired. Mm, we desire fame and fortune, something that leads us in the path of destruction. 
we get greedy sometimes. Uh, the, the sinful nature just take over. Oh, glory to God. And all we can bask in is, is the fleshy things. Oh, filled with immorality and wickedness, adultery and fornication, impurity and envy, murder and uncleanness, the things that describe us. Oh, glory to God. If God should turn his head, oh, glory to God, where would we be today? But God didn't turn his head. God shine his face upon us and came down and rescue us. That is grace. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to God. We, when we sin, we know, you know. When we sin, we know. Hallelujah to God. But sometimes we cannot help ourselves. We cannot save ourselves. Back in the olden days in the law period, the law showed them their sin every day. But the law could not do anything about the sin that they have committed. And they, they, it was like a revolving door. It's like a wheel. They're just going round and round and round. And their sin stares them in their face. And nothing can be done about it. But God sent Jesus and changed that all together. And he became sin for us that we might live. Hallelujah to God. Abandon the law that we might have life and have it more abundantly. But the grace of God has appeared to all men teaching us to deny ungodliness and, and, and worldly lust and to live godly and soberly in this present world. If you experience the grace of God, live godly. Live righteously. Live soberly. Hallelujah. That's the requirement of grace. If you experience grace, yes. glory to God, let Jesus know that you appreciate it. Yes. Live righteously. Yes. Live soberly. Yes. Oh, glory to God. In this present age. Yes. Tell it to your fellow men. Yes. Let them see you. Oh, glory to God. Walking hand in hand with Jesus. Oh, glory to God. That's the requirement of grace. Live so well. Live godly. Live righteously in this present world. Mm. The unmerited favor of God. We did not ask for it. We could not. We don't even have a voice. Mm. We did not petition, petition God for it. No. We could not work hard for it. We work until the, these two hands fall at your side and you could not achieve it. Hallelujah to God. But by his sovereign will, he granted grace. Grace is greater than all of our sins. Hallelujah to God. When Adam sinned, man began to do abominable things. Every inclination of man was to do wicked work, wickedness. He who filled the hurt continuously. The hurt was filled with violence. Mm. But sin is an abomination to God. Mm. God was grieving his heart and a God that does not make mistake was disappointed that he, that he made man. 
and vow that you will do something else. Do you know that? God that does not make mistakes was disappointed that he makes man. Oh, glory to God. And God swear that he will destroy man. But now, now what happened, brethren? We have found grace. God swear in his wrath that he will destroy man. Oh, glory to God. And now, here we are. Here we are. Filled with God's grace. Hallelujah to God. Mm. The Bible said, now I found grace in the eyes of the Lord. And then look at Noah's grace. Noah does, didn't know him anything about grace. God just give it to him because he is that type of God. He just gave grace to know. We, we, we don't earn grace. It is just given to us. So that means because we have found grace, oh glory to God, we have to be gracious to others. The graciousness of Christ, oh glory to God, demands from us to be gracious to others. Grace speaks to our hearts every day. Yes. Hallelujah to God. It's not coming to church and just and just worship and say we are worshiping God and, and we are not gracious to others. Yes. Hallelujah to God. We have to be gracious and kind. Oh glory to God. Grace was from the beginning. Some scholars said grace precede love, but grace, love, and mercy are intertwined. You can't find one without the other. Love, mercy, and grace was wrapped up in God. Oh, glory to God. And, 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 and he came to hurt himself. Oh, glory to God. And destroy its love, mercy, and grace yes. to, to all of us. Oh, oh, glory to God. And we have to say, brethren, thank you. Thank you, the Lord. We are different. We are separated. Yes. Oh, glory to God from the world. We are in the world, but we are not of the world. We are peculiar people. We are washed by his blood, saved and sanctified, filled with his grace. And so he said, give grace to others. The only reason why we exist today, or why any man exists on the face of the earth today, is because of his grace. Some people don't believe that. They talk, it's because I was born into the Rockefellers family. Is because I was born rich. It's my money that sustained me. It's my good health that sustained me. No, it is because of the grace of the Almighty God. Hallelujah. Abraham was blessed out of all men in his days. Why? Because of grace. Moses was given a second chance to deliver to the children of Israel because of his grace. Joseph, the grace of God was abundant in his life from the pit to the palace is because of grace. Mm. And so God sent Jesus personified while we were yet sinners, he died. He died for me. He died for you. Hallelujah to God. And I am appealing to the sinners. Oh, glory to God. This grace is for you. You are experiencing it right now. If you are breathing, hey. 
the grace of God is all around you. The grace of God is given to you. Oh, you have to acknowledge who gave it to you. Hallelujah to God. You have to acknowledge that it comes from the Almighty God and recognize that without Him, you could not be here. Hallelujah to God. Mercy and grace comes from God Himself. Mm. Now, you know, grace showed His face in the form of Christ. Now we have been justified by faith and have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. We accept His grace. We are now justified. We are no more enemies of God. Now we are at peace with God. Oh, that's a good place to be. Peace with God. Hallelujah to God. Recognizing that the wrath is not hovering over us. Mm, what a place to be. Peace with this powerful God that can speak and you vanish. Peace with this powerful God that the bat of an eye will disappear. Hallelujah to God. Today you're here, tomorrow you're gone. Right. Hallelujah to God. Mm, I encourage us to be graceful. Amen. Hallelujah to God. Faith could not happen without grace. Faith could not happen without grace. The mystery of God's grace in the Old Testament, the grace of God was there but was hidden, obscured by the law. The grace of God was there, but it was hidden, obscured by the law. Mm. Grace was always there. Grace is wrapped up in God. It's always there. But God has to do something for us to experience it. That's why he sent Jesus Christ. Mm. It was a mystery. Oh, glory to God. When Paul started to speak of the grace of God, because all they know was the law of God. But Moses gave out the law of God. But grace and truth come from Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to God. Mm. Because of the love of God, why we experience grace. So you can't find grace without love. It is only because of the love of God why we experience grace. This love is not a sentimental love. It's not a romantic love. This love is not a feel-good love. This love is a special love, brethren. Unique. Oh, glory to God. Crafted for God's people, for the children of God. This love. Oh, glory to God. It's not sentimental at all. It extended to all of us. Oh, glory to God. If we just acknowledge. Mm. This love is, is, is agape. This love is agape. You don't have to do anything to receive it. With me, if you love me, I will love you back. But if you hate me, I will resent you. But with God, oh glory to God. This love is pure. Oh, glory to God. This love, don't expect nothing in return. He just love you. Oh, glory to God. But when you experience love, you have to show him 
love in return. Hallelujah to God. Mm. And so, because of grace, mm, the unmerited favor of God, no matter what you do, his grace is always sufficient. Mm. Love is different from the law, you know. The law condemns us when we sin, but grace helps us to overcome the sin. So I have to choose grace. I must choose grace. Because grace is my helper. Grace helps me to stand up strong. Grace encourages me to carry on. Oh, glory to God. When I'm tired, grace said, I will give you strength. Oh, glory to God. Grace is unfailing. Oh, grace will be always there. Oh, glory to God. We just have to embrace the grace of God. Oh, glory to God. And he will give you the strength. When I am weak, I am strong because of the grace of God. I will not suffer. I will not beg for bread because of the grace of the Almighty God. Thank you. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. This grace is valuable. Valuable grace. Grace that I adore. Grace that I must adorn. I must wear it day and night. I must speak grace. I must live grace. When you see us, you must seek the grace of God. For the grace of God has appeared to all of us. It teaches us to deny the ungodliness and the worldliness and to live godly. Oh, glory to God. Let the grace of God shine. Oh, God. Mm. Mm. We, the believers, have the responsibility to preach grace every chance we get. Sometimes we preach about what we don't like yes. than what we want. Oh God. Sometimes we, we, we say some things that if we just say it in another way, it will be more palatable. Yes. Christian must be cheerful. Yes. We are called out, said the people. We are representative of Christ. Oh, glory to God. And when I look at the life of Christ and see how he represents his father, he was careful, oh, glory to God, in bringing the sinners to him. He was careful in calling them. Come unto me. All you that are labored and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Oh, glory to God. I must have the Savior with me. For I dare not. I must feel his presence. Thank you, Jesus. Our then my soul shall fear no evil. Let him lead me. I will go without a murmur. The power of grace must be preached to all mankind. Grace 
grace will not cause you to stumble. Grace will lead you home. Grace will bring you in. Grace will get you closer. Oh, glory to God. Let's rely on the grace of God. Let's be tender hearted and kind and true to all mankind. It's our love that will bring them. It's our love that will embrace them. Oh, glory to God. It is the grace that will keep them. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. God is deep in us. The grace is deeper than we imagine. We, 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 we analyze people based upon what we see. We don't even know their background. We don't even know why they behave the way they behave. If we respond to what we see them doing sometimes, we get it wrong every time. But if we get to know them and see where they're coming from, we will eventually turn them around. Oh, yes. Hallelujah to God. And the only way we can effectively do that is walking in the grace of God and show others of his grace. Mm. Salvation is not a word. This any man should boast. It is a gift. I said, I boast not of words, nor tell of his deed. For nothing have I done to merit his deed. All glory and praise are rest upon him, so willing to die in my place. So I will glory in the cross. Hallelujah. I will glory in the cross. The cross steers us in the face. Saying grace. Hallelujah to God. Mm. So the grace of God demands a response. Mm. We must go and live this grace that is given to us. It is free, but at the same time, it is costly. Don't abuse it. It costs us nothing, but it costs Jesus everything. Mm. Jesus gave it, us the gift of grace freely. It's, a, it's a incumbent on us to give it freely to others. Even when they mistreat us. Embrace and you see what happens. Love conquers all in us. Love changes things. I grew up three boys, and, uh, and I realized if I get mad too often, they get mad back at me. But if I love them, I, I feel that love coming back at me. Let's walk in the grace of God. It cost Jesus his life. And he's saying to us today, walk in his grace. Live out his grace. Give grace to all that you see. Be gracious to all people. Mm. Don't demand from the world anything. The world cannot give what it doesn't have. Don't demand from the world anything. Just be gracious to the world and see what God will do. Just be gracious to the world. See what God will do. Let us not demand too much. Let God do the demand. We are called to show love and to be gracious. 
let God do what he demanded. Christ is the root of our salvation. Do not boast. But if we boast, remember that you do not support the root. But the root supports you. But the grace of God by the grace of God I am what I am today. Without grace we could. We could not be saved. Let us show grace to others. The grace of God is fully realized and appreciated when we express it. The grace of God is fully realized and appreciated when we express it to others. We must speak truth, but truth must be spoken with grace. Do you understand that? We must speak truth, but truth must be spoken with grace. By the grace of God, I am saved. By the grace of God, I am saved. today, Lord, because we have experienced your grace. It is grace that caused us to step off our bed this morning. It is grace that caused us to drive to church today. It is grace that caused us to sit, oh God, together 
in this place to hear your word and grace will take us home. We thank you God for your manifold love that wrapped up our oh God in Jesus Christ and sent to us oh God in the form of grace. Oh God I want to let you know Jesus that we thank you. Thank you for your abundant grace. Help us now God that we will do everything in the name of grace. Because grace oh God will lead us home. And as we, Lord Jesus, live from day to day, I pray, God, that you will help us to extend grace to others. Help us to be always mindful of what you have done for us on the cross. It was grace that holds you there. Oh, glory to God. It's only because of grace why we are here. And so, Lord Jesus, we appreciate your grace. Help us, Lord Jesus, to extend it to others. Thank you for today. Thank you for your, your servant. Thank you for your words. God, help us now to walk in humility. And strengthen, Lord Jesus, our bodies physically. Strengthen our minds. Oh, God, strengthen our hearts spiritually so that we can live oh, Mm, according to your grace. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for every member mm, that are present here. Pray, God, that you will be with us, Lord, and help us to live the life that matters most. Live the life of grace. And for, Lord Jesus, our friends that have not come to embrace your grace, I pray, God, that you will show them more of your grace. Because your grace, I know, will, will cause them to turn. Mm, I pray, God, that you help us, Lord Jesus, as your hands and feet on this earth, mm, to walk in your grace, so that those that are not saved will see it and come to know you as Lord and Savior. It's by grace we are saved. It's by grace they will get saved. And so we stand on your grace today. And we thank you for it. Do for us now that which we are not able to do. Who grants us your mercies, your blessings, and your peace. We ask this in your holy name. And Lord, we have a special prayer for Sister Carl's friend. Lorna, that's all we know, but you know more. You see where she is. You know what she is dealing with. Mm. And the fact that, Lord God, she requested help. Oh, glory to God. I pray that you will send her. Mm. You are not restricted by time or space. So you can go where she is. Oh, glory to God. Speak to Lorna right now. Oh, God. And meet her at the point of her need. Let her know that you are present. And by your grace, oh, God, she will be. She will be healed. She will be changed. She will be stronger than who she is now. She will be revived and refreshed. And she will praise you in the beauty of holiness. Thank you for your blessings. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Go with us now, God. Separate yourself with us. And if it pleases you for us to return back in your house, help us to come rejoicing in your presence. We give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. And now unto him who is able to keep us all from falling and to present us faultless before his presence with exceeding joy 
to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, and all God's children say, Amen. Thank you all for coming. Have a